Okay people, this is himself, and in this video I'm going to show you the best way to punish Chloe's rage art. I know I covered this briefly in another video, but the information I gave was a bit lousy, and I found a better way of getting the job done, so I thought I'd share it. So Chloe's rage art is the only one in the game that's low, and it's minus 27 on block. But the thing is, she has this weird stagger animation, and for part of that, she's actually in the air. What this means is that if you try to punish with Hopney or Gut Punch, you'll get minimal damage. And if she's done this just as she's gone into rage, she's gonna survive, which is not what you want. So how do we maximize damage output to make sure we win the round? Well, one possibility is doing while standing 2-2 into running powerbomb. This is 45 damage and you get OK options afterwards. But I've sometimes found the air throw to miss and there's still some debate as to the maximum health someone can have at rage. Some people say it's 43, some people say it might be more. So there's a slight chance that she may survive. A better option is doing FF3. If you hit this early, you'll catch it in the air and you can finish the juggle to get 47 damage. In my opinion, this should be enough to close out the round. But if you hit it late, you can get even more. What you do is you mash 1 plus 2 to get the DDT and then you finish with the alley kick. The alley kick here is guaranteed regardless of how they get up. If it hits on the floor, it does 11 damage. But if it hits them standing, then it does 14. What this means is that you can get 49 or 52 damage and this should be enough to kill her without doubt. Now if you have trouble landing that just frame throw, still give it a go because for some reason I find it way more consistent doing it here than doing it anywhere else. Plus if you hit FF3 early you still have enough time to input the DF43 even if you've been inputting the 1 plus 2 so either way you win. Now this combo may seem like it's overkill but there's other lows out there that have the same stagger animation and people abuse them because they know that they don't get punished properly but now that you've seen this it's not going to happen to you. Before I close out I want to say that there's numerous other videos like this on my channel and more coming so if you want to see those and become a better player hit that subscribe button. As always I hope you guys learned something if you did then please like and share this video if you think I've missed something out or got something wrong then say so in the comments. There's more King content to come, so keep your eyes peeled for that, and I'll see you guys in the future.